hey you guys today i'm going to do real housewives of new jersey season six episode two it wasn't nothing really exciting that happened on this episode it was like the christmas episode so real quick review i guess like i said it was christmas episode everybody getting ready for christmas um you had teresa and joe and the kids put well teresa and joe uh Joe putting up a tree because them goddamn badass kids from Melania, I swear, couldn't be me. Just couldn't be me. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want to talk about too many too, uh, people, kids too bad. Just couldn't be me. Um, Melissa and Joe, they at their house putting up their Christmas tree. They got a little rental house because they're getting, they, uh, getting ready to build their new house. And they damn daughter couldn't be me. Just saying. All that, oh, this house is little shit. I would have been like, uh, you can go outside. You ain't got to stay here. I, I'm just saying. I don't keep kids where they don't want to be kept. I'm just saying. I don't give up. No. Um, the twins and their parents. Um, we got to meet their parents this, um, episode. They mama name is Santa. It's Saint for the Italian culture. But I was like, what if she would have been a demon child? Then what child would have did People, think about what you name your damn kids. I'm just saying. Because that mama don't seem like a saint. Um, the daddy was cool. I was loving the daddy. I like how he was talking about tradition and all that kind of stuff. Because I'm with that. I'm so with tradition. Especially when it comes to family. Because I feel like if you don't keep some kind of tradition going in your family, your family kind of falls apart. All that new age shit, I'm with it. But I'm not with it. You know what I'm saying? I like old school thinking. Um... Amber and her kids, she uh, they doing a gingerbread house. Let's get Amber out the way because she didn't have too much going. She had a gin she made gingerbread for her kids and her step. I think that was her stepson. Then after that, the next time we seen her, they were doing fire drills in the house. I get it. I get why she was doing it, but I'd be like, girl, breathe breathe i understand your kids is your world and all that because mine is too and i try to think of all kind of shit to keep my kids safe but that girl needs to breathe um teresa was telling joe how people was talking about her at that party and i'm like girl you knew what you was getting into remember remember you said that you um you gonna still have to go out anyway so soak it all in listen to your husband Haters gonna hate. Keep it moving. Um, Nicole, the twin, twin Nicole, she had lunch with uh, Dina. They bonded now since they both going through separation and divorce and all that kind of shit. And um, they talked about their relationships. Then they talked about Amber Party. And it seemed like Dina was trying to stir up information from Nicole. And Nicole was sitting there looking. She had to look on her face like there was some beef, but she was like, she's not going to stop being her friend over something petty because she felt some kind of way about Amber's reaction to the guests that she brought. But, hey. Um, Melissa and Joe, they take the kids to go see where the house is going to be built. And then all of a sudden, Dina and Teresa meet up. Then Dina talking about, well, I'm going to give her a chance. I felt some kind of way about her when she was um, going through her stuff with uh, Teresa, I'm like, bitch, don't be my friend now. Don't, uh-uh. I don't like people like that. Where you don't fuck with me because I don't fuck with a certain person, but now that person fuck with me, now you want to fuck with me, bitch, kick rocks. I don't like people like that. Um, but her and her brother, Teresa and her brother got to talk, and he was saying how he was there for her. Um, he don't know really what to say. And I'm sitting there like, y'all not as close as we, y'all trying to portray y'all then. Because... Why he's never at court? Why, you know what I'm saying? If my brother or sister was going through some shit like that, we would be at the courthouse. Even Liz Alyssa was like, I want her to tell me things. But I'm like, apparently y'all don't. But then, we know Teresa, she tried to sweep everything under the rug like it's okay. But I'm like, that don't give y'all the right to not show up at the courthouse if y'all really so goddamn concerned. Are y'all babysitting the kids when they at the courthouse? Tell me something. Um... Everybody, all the cousins meet for uh, dinner. Melissa, Joe, Teresa and her husband, Joe, Kathy and Richie, and Rosie. They all meet up. I was so, I love me some Rosie. I don't, I like Kathy and Richie. Well, I like Richie because he's more of the comedic, really. But I 
promise. I hope Rosie just not completely off the show. She just brings some kind of realness to the show, so I like her. Um, but they all sit there and they talked and they laughed and all that kind of stuff. Then they exchanged gifts. Who the hell bought that dictionary? Teresa picked the gift because they always all have to pick a gift. Um, who who did she say gave her the gift? Because she picked the dictionary. I thought that was shade, but hey, at least they was having a nice ass time. But nobody arguing and fighting and all that kind of stuff. So that was good. Um, then you had uh, what else? The twin Teresa, Teresa, she's at her house. Her parents is over there and all that kind of stuff. Because they come and meet up once. Um, they all meet up once a week for dinner and cook. They look like they was cooking some bomb ass food. I'm sitting there like, damn, I need a plate. Because that shit was looking hella fucking good. But before that happened, Reno, Teresa's husband, took their son to um the restaurant because he wants to get into the restaurant business i don't think he really want to go to college he really wants to be in the restaurant business so they figure out which way the uh, best way for him to learn is to be hands-on with his dad and his dad teaching him and i thought that was a really good look of a father teaching his son you know job skills and you know they bonded time i thought that was really awesome then they have christmas day everybody opening their damn gifts um teresa and them Y'all notice Teresa didn't get her kids some elaborate gifts, some expensive gifts this time. You can't show that shit now that you're going through that court shit. She bought they ass a $30 Easy Bake oven from Walmart. Um, and then she bought they ass a puppy. They had on some homie beanies. I don't get why they beanies said homies, but hey, why they didn't have their name on it? Them are some still little ass girls. Um, but yeah, they, you know, they was really happy about that. I like how she tricked them with that fake dog and then they heard the real dog and they was all excited so that was cute. Um, Dina and her daughter, Christmas time is a bad time for her because it's her birthday. Then she think about how her family is leaving and all that kind of stuff. So her and her daughter walk to this bridge right on the rock, throw it in the water. And it was about accepting what college she ended up getting into and all that kind of stuff. So that was cool. Um, Nicole's at her parents' house, and, um, first of all, pause, you living with your parents for three years. Did the bitch look like she way over than 40? And I understand you, you know, you going back to your parents' house to get your stuff back together, but three years? Do you not work? Can You can't afford a studio apartment? Like, I don't understand. Maybe that's the Italian way, but... When you over 40, you should not be living with your parents for three fucking years. I'm just saying. But, yeah, her boyfriend Bobby ended up coming over with presents or whatever. He bought her a wine holder. That would have been the last Christmas we would have been at. And I'm not materialistic at all. But I just feel like that's something that you could have just bought her at any time. Christmas is supposed to be, like, by special gifts. And that didn't seem special. Um, no. Now... You can not break your pockets and still buy some nice. You could have bought her some fucking flowers in a card before you bought her a wine holder. I, that just looked it weird to me. Or like there was no thought process in this damn gift. <laughs> um, but yeah, whatever. Then you got Melissa and Joe and the kids. They playing in the snow. I thought that was really cute and fun. Joe dumbass got his tongue stuck against the damn pole. I'm like, dummy. Didn't you see on Real Housewives of the OC when Tamara tried to do that shit and her tongue got stuck and then half her tongue got... Mm -mm. Don't do that shit no more. Hell no. But then, then you have Joe and Teresa at the end. They sitting by the fireplace. He wrote her this card about thanking her for being there and all this kind of stuff. And he happy. He ain't got no right to cry because he wouldn't want to come home. And I'm like, it's already rumors that you cheat. Why would you say some shit like that? But they had a real nice conversation. Like I said, this episode wasn't drama filled. Everybody was getting along. But I will stop doing solo reviews if this shit don't get cracking. I'm sorry. Now, we always talk about shows as ghetto and all that kind of stuff, but I'm sorry. That's what we watch this for. This is what we review for. Some kind of action and entertainment. And y'all keep making me, like, fall asleep and have to watch this shit again. I don't know. 
But y'all tell me what y'all thought about Real Housewives of New Jersey Season 6, Episode 2. And we can keep this conversation going. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Xbox Live, whatever it is. I do everything by the ghetto view. T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, oh, my hair is irritating me. I just took my braids out. And you know how it is when you first take them out. So I got to go wash my hair and do it all over again. This shit is irritating. But yeah, talk to me and I'll talk to y'all. Make sure you guys check out my girl Ashley Miller. She also do Real Housewives in New Jersey. Check out Cemented. She, um... Did like a random video, but she talked about the Real Housewives of New Jersey at the beginning, so go check her out. And at the end of her video, make sure you watch the whole video, because at the end of the video, she has so much positive, good information that people need to really listen to. So go check her out. Cement it. Alright, peace out, you guys.